How much coffee is too much? For many of us, coffee is an essential part of our morning routine. But did you know that drinking too much coffee can actually be bad for your health? In this video, we'll look at how much coffee is safe to drink and how to know if you're drinking too much. The answer to this question depends on a few factors, such as age, weight, and gender. Generally speaking, most adults should limit their caffeine intake to 400 mg per day. That's roughly 4 cups of coffee or 2 energy drinks. Caffeine sensitivity varies from person to person though, so it's important to pay attention to how your body reacts when you consume caffeine. If you feel jittery or anxious after drinking just one cup of coffee, that might be a sign that you need to cut back on your caffeine intake. How does caffeine affect your body? Caffeine acts as a stimulant in our bodies by increasing alertness and improving mood. It has also been shown to improve cognitive function and physical performance. However, just like with anything else, too much caffeine can have negative effects on your body. Drinking more than 400 mg per day can lead to increased anxiety and irritability, headaches, restlessness, insomnia, and even heart palpitations or arrhythmia. When it comes to coffee specifically, the amount of caffeine varies depending on the type and size of the cup. A standard 8 ounces cup contains around 95 mg of caffeine, while a 16 ounces cup contains around 200 mg of caffeine. Generally speaking, it's best to keep your daily intake below 400 mg, which would equate to roughly 3 to 4 cups of 8 ounces coffee per day, or 1 to 2 cups of 16 ounces of coffee per day, depending on personal preference and tolerance levels. What are the risks of drinking too much coffee? Drinking too much coffee can lead to a number of negative side effects such as headaches, restlessness, insomnia, rapid heartbeat, and anxiety. It can also make it difficult for your body to absorb certain vitamins and minerals from the food you eat, resulting in deficiencies in essential nutrients like calcium and magnesium. And because caffeine is a diuretic, drinking large amounts of it can cause dehydration which can lead to headaches and fatigue. What about Decaf? Decaf coffee still contains small amounts of caffeine usually between 2 to 15 mg per cup, so if you're sensitive to caffeine or want to cut back on your intake, then Decaf may be a better option for you. Additionally, some studies suggest that Decaf may have its own set of health benefits including improved digestion and reduced inflammation. Conclusion Coffee can be a great way to start your morning or give you an afternoon pick-me-up, but it's important to be mindful of how much you're drinking each day. Overconsumption of caffeine can lead to serious health risks like anxiety, insomnia, and arrhythmia, so it's best practice if you keep your daily intake under 400 mg per day which equates to roughly 3 to 4 cups. So, have a nice day and be productive. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. As always, stay happy and healthy.